So what we're going to do now is I'm going to really roll the dice here and, and uh, see if we can't do a live demo. I want to just show you in the system how, you know, where these scripts are located and basically, you know, just kind of go over the basics of, of, of running, you know, running the script. So um, let me try to do this without killing anything here. Um, download complete. Thank you very much. All right, so here we are. We are on the SAS2 server. So any of you that are on the K2 SAS2 server um, with, from us or any other of the hosted SAS platforms, um, this is uh, basically what I'm using on the K2 server. If you're on our hosted Kaseya, you'll, you should see similar. So you're going to go to the agent procedures, and you're going to go to schedule and create. And you're basically going to go and look at the VA scripts, and you're going to see, or you should see, all these different scripts. now. If you don't see these scripts, what you're going to need to do is, is you're going to need to import them. Okay? And what we've done is we've gone out there and we've created a file that will allow you to import the entire set of scripts or you can import them individually. Okay? Um, those of you on K2 you, you know, are hosted. You shouldn't have to worry about that. But those of you on SAS, if you're missing some scripts, um, just, you know, um, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show them to you maybe towards the end. I'll show you how to go in and, and find those scripts. They're on our forum, and you can basically log in. You do need a password to get that now, so you'll need to look at some of your emails that you've received from us to get the passwords to get them. So what we've done is we basically have created this set of scripts, and we've tried to label them pretty intelligently there. You know, the Adobe Reader Audit, the Flash Audit, there's two different ones, ActiveX or, um, uh, you know, the other plugins for, for Firefox and, and Chrome. Um, on down the line, and and we've also created two kind of summary scripts. So these, um, the first one, I, I call it the Big Five. Okay, and what that does is that goes out there and that scans for Flash, the two versions of Flash, Adobe Reader, Java, and will give you the status of your antivirus. Okay, so that's kind of the big ones out there. And then we have another one which is, hey, run the whole shoot and match. Now the Big Five actually will run on your machines in a matter of seconds because most of these scripts really all they're doing with the exception of the defrag and the check disk scripts really all they're doing is looking at, at um, you know registry entries you know to see what's installed on your machine so the, I mean I've seen it run on one machine it ran in eight seconds and one machine I mean I'm talking all five scripts ran in eight seconds and one of them it ran in 13 seconds so this is not really going to tax your network at all now, granted, if you start running check disk and defrag scripts, it's going to take a while, right? It's, it's got to go through and, and collect that information and run through the whole, you know, check disk and defrag, even though it's not actually doing one, but just collecting the data. So it takes a little bit longer. So my advice here is to basically, um, you know, run them and just, you know, kind of walk away and maybe come back, uh, you know, later in the day or, or the next day. And then I'm going to show you, obviously, we have to talk about the reporting side of it. So, you know, just, just, this is really nothing new. I mean, this schedule script, I think uh, I'll go through it real quick just in case some of you, um, you know, haven't been and haven't messed with scripts much. Uh, pick the machine or machines that you want to assign it to. You know, just select the machine, uh, hit schedule procedure, and then you can, uh, most of the time you can just run it, right, just run now and just run it right away because you could run this on a regular basis if you wanted to, but I see more of this being used as an audit mechanism to um, just, you know, pre-sales. We're going to have a webinar and we want to talk about nothing but using Kaseya to do on, you know, like network audits for clients. And, and that, I think that's probably going to be our next one. And a lot of this is surrounding all these different scripts that we're using. So, um, but anyway, you can run it once or run it now or schedule it to run, you know, standard stuff, distribution windows and everything like that. So I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I think you guys probably know if you don't. Uh, we can go over it anytime you want. Um, so you're going to schedule these scripts to run. Either run all of them or the big five or any individual one that you're interested in. Okay? That's basically it. So when we look at, say, the big five script, and if we look at that procedure, I mean, what that's, all that's doing is executing these other procedures. Um, I should also say, as kind of an aside for those of you on the SAS platform, if you do import the script, um, please make sure that you check these and make sure that it's it's found everything. 
Uh, one of the things with Kaseya is when you when you import a script that references other scripts, it loses the the association in many cases. And so you'll see a weird number in there, like a seven digit number, because it's looking for that script and it can't find it. And you just have to kind of go in and re, you know reconnect it to what it's looking for. Okay, so basically you're going to go in and you're going to you're going to literally just run you know run that script on your machine and it's going to execute all right and that's it that's all you do all right at this point all right so the 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 next you know the next part of this is um is talking about um